Hello guys. Do you have this problem of sending email to multiple contact points with more or less the same text, repeating the same draft every time and wasting a lot of time in just these drafting and redrafting? Yes, there is a solution for that. And today I'm going to introduce you to Mail Merge. Mail Merge, no doubt, is one of the most useful automations available in Microsoft Office products. Mail Merge is a process to create personalized letter and email from a form. A document which contains fixed text, which will be the same in each output document, and variables which act as placeholders that are replaced by text from data sources. So let's kick it off. For example, I have this list of my customer companies with their contacts. I will add here one more. Uh, I will say column contacts and I will put the name of the contact and I will let's keep it like the same for all of them just to keep it simple because it will shoot out emails. So let's keep it simple. So I have contacts, I have email IDs, their document numbers like the invoices when I sent them invoice numbers, the amount they're supposed to pay, and the currency. So this is, for example, an email draft that I have to send to these tens or thousands of customers, but I don't want to write it every time. I just want to send out one email to all of these guys. So yes, this is possible with the combination of Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. So I will save this file and I will close it for now and I will go to Microsoft Office. So in the Office ribbon, here you see this mailing tab. In the mailing tab, you have this start mail merge. So I'll repeat, you have to go to the Microsoft Word. In the tab, you have this mailing tab and there you have the start mail merge. So when you click on this, there are a lot of, a lot of options. So what I'll do is I'll go to uh, wizard if you want I can go to the email wizard as well so email messages I'm making it as an email message so it's asking me to select the recipients so I will use an existing list I clicked on the use existing list and I went on to the place where I have that list which I showed you a few minutes ago uh, that was the data file so I selected that data file and it's asking me which tab do you want to keep the od list is the tab which contains everything so i have this list and everything here with me now i'll simply draft down the email so um, to i will put here the company name so for that i'll have to insert one uh, i'll say field so we have here insert my field so company name it will pick from that particular database so uh, when I click this company name, so this is, I will say two is fixed text, but company name is variable, which will be depending uh, to, to on, on the situation that you have. Uh, dear Mr. So I will write a text to that person. So for that matters, I need the contacts. So this is the contact person, dear Mr. Uh, with reference to my invoice number now i will put to invoice number i'll put an invoice number here worth now i'll put the value so for that i have to go get payable amount and then currency as well so one space and i will add reporting currency so we have currency here payable amount and stuff like that so now I will, I will continue with my further process so uh, reporting currency i put here i will put a full stop or rather i will continue it with reference to invoice number worth is submitted on now i will add field of document date so submitted to you on this date i would like to remind you that payment is due for this invoice hence i would appreciate if you could confirm the payment date so these were the fields that we use inside here uh, I will tell you how you can use this email ID field as well but for the time being I'm using this as a body of the text so uh, thank you best regards vendor one two three whatever so now the text is ready. When you're done with your text and you're ready with sending it out, you will simply uh, go to start mail merge. So now you can start your mail merge uh, with that, envelop messages, everything is ready. Now finish the merge, 
and simply send out the emails. Now, when you want to send out the emails, the pop-up comes up and it asks you, where is the email IDs? So I will click the email ID. Now this email ID is connected with the text from here because this is in the same row. So the subject is payment reminder and the body format, it's up to you what you want to keep. I will rather keep the HTML, the same format. Uh, let's take one example here. You can send all emails. So if you have 10,000 customers, one email click will go, will send out all the 10,000 emails. So I will say only current record. So for the time being, I'll send only one email just for a sample. I'll press OK. Now, email has been sent out to one of the customers. So I will go to my emails now and I will see where the emails are uh, rather by clicking this, I will rather go now here and I will check if I have an email coming in. Yes, there is an email here. You just saw it popping up. I clicked here. So now you can see here, customer ABC, dear Mr. Soleiman Qureshi, this is the contact from the contact field with reference to invoice number. It's taken the invoice number from the database. The value, oh, you can see the formatting is not that the best, but okay. Euro submitted on this date, it took everything. I would like to remind you that payment is due for this invoice and I will appreciate if you can make the payment. So this is an email which went not only for, to one person, but 10,000 of your customers. So that's how uh, guys, you can use mail merge and you can send out your emails quickly uh, in a single go uh, through your database. This database can be anything. It can be an SQL. It can be directly uh, downloaded from SAP. It can be Oracle, anything. It, it can be Excel. So whatever database you have, you can use it to connect and you can use it to throw it out to your customers in a single go or to your management in one go. Uh, this is something very useful. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you very much. Looking forward to talk to you again. Bye-bye.